Hey guys, it's Posey. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I've actually been waiting like an entire month to film. As you can tell from the title, I'll be showing you guys outfits I would wear after like lockdown and quarantine. So, I came up with seven outfits for each day of the week and I'll be showing you guys what I would wear on like a regular week where I'll be meeting up with my friends and stuff. And it's so sad because I can only dream of going out and meeting my friends, but it's fine. In this video, you get to see like my style and my aesthetic and like just the way I come up with my outfits, so... Commercial break! So I'm interrupting the video really quickly just to tell you guys about something that's really important and very exciting. So the outfits I'll be showing you guys in this video, in my opinion, they're really comfortable to wear, really easy to put together, and they're also really appropriate to wear for indoor functions and also for outdoor events. With that being said, there's actually one coming up after this whole nightmare relaxes. It's called the Fusion Cup and they're actually sponsoring today's video. That was just like, they're my first sponsor ever. Thank you so much for this opportunity. What is Fusion Cup, you might ask? As you all know, or as most of you probably don't know, Abuja is really popular for football tournaments and football competitions, and that's what Fusion Cup actually is. They're hosting the first post-lockdown event for just everybody to come together and celebrate the freedom at last from being stuck at home for months on end because of Corona. So the venue of this would be in City Park, Abuja. And I think this is a really good opportunity, especially if you're a business. You get a lot of brand exposure, you reach a lot of new customers, and you basically make some dough. With that being said, businesses keep all their cash. Can you imagine? Like, you don't have to pay one naira out of the money you make. It's all yours, baby. Or if you know you can play football, you can register to play as a footballer, and you stand the chance to win. 200,000 naira. Okay. Uh, the thing is pinning me because I don't have football skills, but guy, 200k, haba, haba. Like, that's the biggest cash prize ever. Like, my brain, I'm just trying to process. Huh? Better go and start practicing, you know. So you can find Fusion Cup on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll put their usernames on the screen right here. For more information and for just updates, because they're always posting like reminders and stuff. It's going to be a lockout event. Get it? Like lock down, lock out, like. So thank you once again for Fusion Cup for sponsoring this video. I can't believe I'm saying those words. I've been waving this pen around since and I don't know why. You guys can continue watching now. Make sure you like the video before it even starts because Make sure you subscribe and let's get started Dressing in black is a fashion statement It's deep, it's meaningful and it's slenderizing Okay, so the first outfit looks like this So I'm wearing this shirt from Zara It has like these nice lace kind of ribbed details i just paired that with my trousers from marks and spencers they're like really baggy and long which i like i love when my trousers like cover the shoe a little bit my shoes of course are my feeler disruptors it looks better in person my camera isn't doing it justice maybe it's the way i'm standing for my scarf i just tucked it into my shirt i'm just pairing it with this neon green snake skin bag and i feel like because the outfit is like all black the bag and the shoes give it like a nice pop of color it's just nice and casual Okay, so you guys, I apologize in advance for this outfit because I really tried my best to iron it. The problem is either with me or the iron. So, so this is Monday's outfit. For the top, I'm just wearing my brother's button-up t-shirt. Oh, t-shirt, formal shirt, I guess. It's just plain white. You can't really see the wrinkles. Oh, wait, you can. And for my scarf, I'm just wearing this. I don't even know what color this is. It kind of matches my trousers actually it does not but it's the closest color i had to my trousers 
these trousers are from H&M and they're just really baggy and long then for shoes I'm just wearing my Lacoste they're just plain white I really like this outfit to accessorize I'm just going to wear this bag from Bulgari the bag is dark brown so it kind of fits the vibe of the whole outfit which is like beige white like and it's dark so and everything else is lighter so it kind of has like a nice contrast to everything but yeah I really like this outfit more than I like yesterday's outfit but yesterday's outfit was actually calm but this one is a bit more neat I can't lie today's fit is actually like come and see come and see so this is what the outfit looks like I, I did well I did well with this outfit Haba, come on come on so for my shirt I'm wearing this rebel mind um, band t-shirt it's actually in Fahad zone once again and on it I'm wearing this red long sleeve it's actually a top but I wear it underneath stuff and like the red on the shirt complements the red on my sleeves I'm wearing these black wide leg trousers and for my shoes I'm wearing my Nike 97s they're a bit crusty but fun fact actually my shirts are supposed to wear my Pulp Fiction shirts but I can't find her like this is a crisis I can't find my pop fiction shirt I don't know where she is like she was just a staple piece in my wardrobe <laughs> but that shirt was my life and it was not cheap so it's just paying me we're lucky that this shirt came to rescue the outfit and you know it's nice and oversized it just gives off like that rock girl like e-girl kind of vibe like but please once again if you see my power fiction shirt don't hesitate to call 080 57 that's cap never releasing my phone number on here y'all thought oh, chico oh so cute you guys i literally forgot to show you guys the bag i was meant to pair this outfit with I'm so breathless because I literally ran in from outside. So for this outfit, I'm just going to pair it with my fanny pack from Topshop, I think. I usually wear my fanny pack like this. I never wear it like across my body because that's just not my vibe. I came up with this outfit last minute and I was having like dilemmas with my scarf and everything like but I'll show you guys what I have right now wait my AC is on rude I'm wearing this Rick and Morty you look so dumb right now I'm wearing this Rick and Morty shirt from Primark I know it's from Primark and it's just white and because it has like all these like purplish hues I matched it with this maroon scarf I'm wearing my long, white long sleeve to match with the white shirt and I'm wearing my favorite jeans ever these are from Topshop and they're like the baggiest jeans I have I'm wearing my feathers, feather disruptors, the black ones I've worn these trousers so many times like it's my go-to like oh my goodness I just love oversized like bottoms in general so this bag is just blue and yellow it's actually Ankara material I was going to pair it with my shirt because there's like some blue and yellow going on there I personally feel like this bag like goes a lot better this is just a Chanel bag because the bag is black it just fits the outfits better in my opinion so yeah that's the completed fit now we can go outside okay so this is what today's outfit looks like so today I'm wearing this guess oversized t-shirt from Urban Outfitters it's honestly one of my favorite t-shirts ever like the color the fit like it's just so fun to wear then I'm wearing my black longer sleeve underneath just to match the black on the shirt and I'm wearing these um, ripped boyfriend jeans I think I think that's what they are called they're from Topshop and for shoes I'm wearing my feeder disruptors 
from this point on my shoes are going to get a bit repetitive because I don't have that many to choose from so I apologize in advance yeah before I forget again the bag we're going to be wearing today is my black fanny pack it just kind of ties everything together this is like a classic Fuzia look So in my previous outfits, you guys have noticed I've been wearing a lot of jeans and trousers. So for today's outfit, I wanted to take a break from that and I'm wearing a skirt! Wow! So for my shirt, I'm just wearing a plain white shirt. I don't really know where it's from. It doesn't have a label. I'm wearing my white long sleeve under it, of course. Then for the skirt, the main event is just white and green. I also don't know where this is from and for shoes I'm wearing my Lacoste that I wore in another oh it's so dirty sorry I'm wearing that but you can't even see them for accessories I would wear this neon snakeskin bag that I wore in my first outfit because it matches the green of the skirt so I would also not wear a bag because the skirt has pockets my scarf is black I would have worn a white scarf but I can't find my white scarf, I don't know where it disappeared to. You guys, today's outfit is like a miracle because I almost lost all hope. I woke up sick, my stomach was paining me, the cramps were on a different level. And I was just thinking, what is life? I was really like, I'm about to die. But then, something made me also like, was I just pushed through and recorded this video. So, I was looking for outfits to wear. Literally, all of the ones I came up with, they were horrendous. Like, think of the worst outfit ever. That was it. And I was just losing motivation. Then, the Lord pulled through. And this outfit... So this is what the outfit looks like, you guys. Maybe I overheated it small, but I don't know, like, I, I really like it. Maybe, um, I'm getting second thoughts, it doesn't look that great on camera. So my scarf is cream, I don't know, is this, is this what you would call cream? I just wore it to match this jacket from Topshop. Underneath I'm wearing just black, like a black turtleneck. For my jeans are just my white leg. Culottes. I'm wearing my Fila disruptors. I know I'm not wearing socks. It's because I'm taking this outfit off in a few minutes So there's no point. I wish the jacket was longer, but it's okay Before I forget I want to pair this outfit with my Bulgari bag I think this should be my favorite bag ever and it adds a little bit of spice to that a little bit of spice But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below which outfit was your favorite. Subscribe and leave a like. And also comment down below whether you want me to do more outfit videos because I'll definitely do them. Because I really like fashion and like clothes. I told you guys you'll see me this week. Did I not say it? I said it. I hope you guys are keeping safe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Alright.